so many battles I'm facing, I don't even know how to cope. Every day I be ducking and dodging these demons, they always be doing the most. Every day I be praying for some kind of break, for some reason I'm still on the ropes. Even though it do feel like I'm so far away, I still know that the again. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's your first time here. If you can see by this title, this is another prophetic word. And God been speaking to me so heavily this last week. And it's such an urgency. I cannot stress that enough. An urgency. And the urgency is for repentance. It's for, it's for holiness. It's for righteousness. Y'all, God is just so serious about this. He is not playing. He is not playing. It's not, I don't know who this is for, but God has been saying this so strongly in my spirit. God is saying that you don't have next year. You don't have next year to get right. You don't have next year to say, okay, God, I'm going I'm to do right next year. I'm going to live holy. I'm going to live for you, God. I'm going to stop doing the things that I've been doing. God is calling us to repentance now because there's some things that are about to happen. There's some things he's going to shake up. So you need to be in right standing with God because judgment is here. It is here, y'all. Now, he's been saying that um, when he's been speaking to me, it's just that and he used Matthew 4 to speak to me. So that's the scripture we're going to be coming from. But I also want to mention first, first John 1 and 9, because a lot of times the enemy tries to tries to get in your head and he tries to torment you and say you know what well, you done done this in your life you know you 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 didn't you didn't done everything underneath the sun there's no way god is gonna forgive you but the bible says first john 1 and 9 that if you confess your sins he is faithful and he is just to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness so there's nothing you can do son there is nothing you can do daughter that god will not forgive you for he is a forgiving god he is merciful oh he is so merciful he will forgive you but he needs you to turn to him now he cannot wait for you let let's understand this god cannot wait for us what god is doing in this season y'all and i'm speaking prophetically right now what god is doing right now god is moving things around and it's not going to take to next year for him to do it because what we have to understand is god created time Therefore, he does not have to operate inside of time. He sits outside of time. He moves things outside of time. He accelerates time. Y'all have to understand that. So what God is doing, if even if God has called you and you haven't answered the call, you're telling God, God, I'll give you next year. Let me finish this year because this is my year. These are the things I had planned for my life in this year. Let me tell you, you better answer the call. You better answer the call. You better pick up that phone. You better answer Jesus right now. He is not giving you to next year because God is going to raise up somebody else to do the work that you should have did. God is going to raise up somebody else to do the things that he called you to do, to receive the blessings that were meant for you. Because what you got to understand is you're not going to mess up God's timing. You're not going to mess up God's destiny. You're not going to mess up God's plan. You're not going to mess up the souls that need to be saved, the people that need salvation, because you didn't want to get in line with what God had going on. What you had going on, you telling God it was more important than what God has going on. Oh my God, I'm talking to somebody. Somebody watching this video, God has been pulling at you. God has been tugging at you. You're talking about Salero Rosa. God is saying, child, I'm not going to give you to next year. You better get it right right now. You better get it right right now. You better get it right right now. The time is now for you to stop it. The time is now for you to repent and turn. Repentance does not mean I keep doing the same thing. Repentance means change. That is what God is calling for, for you to change. Woo! God's assignment isn't canceled because of your disobedience, but your blessings can be delayed because of your disobedience. We affect other people when we get outside of what God has for us. We affect other people's blessings. We affect other people's salvation. That's what God judges us based on. It ain't just how you lived your life. It's how what you did affected other people. So 
so I'm coming out of Matthew 4 and God just God the way God even led me to this the Holy Spirit just led me directly to this Jesus Jesus and I encourage you to go and read the whole chapter of Matthew 4 but we're going to read a few of the scriptures out of that chapter and we're going to read verse 4 but he answered and said it is written men should not live on bread alone but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God I just cannot believe God even led me to that because y'all it was the scripture he put in my spirit but the way he lined it up and led me to it he had been show, trying to show me and I didn't know what scripture he was leading me to and it still was a scripture that he already had placed in my spirit already he led it to me now we're also going to read verse 17 and what we have to understand before i even read verse 17 this is when jesus was tempted by satan but what was so powerful when i got to verse 17 17 says from that time jesus began to preach and say repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand jesus then in 19 he says and he said unto them follow me and i will make you fishers of men so when we get into verses like 18 through um 22 jesus starts to talk that's when he picks his disciples and what god revealed to me and it was so powerful i have read this so many times not only did he say he will make them fishers of men jesus didn't do anything miraculous for them to follow him do you understand how how powerful the anointing must have had been on jesus for them to stop what they're doing they were doing their jobs they were they, they were fisher of men they stopped what they doing he all he asked was follow me and i will make you fishers of men that was the statement and it says straight away in verse 20 they left their nets and followed him then it went on to say that he gathered gathered the other disciples and he called them god is calling you god is calling you for a time like this he is calling you just like jesus called the disciples because we got work to do. We have kingdom assignments to do. He called them. And what I found that was very, very interesting, it never said that they said anything back. It never said that they said, well, Jesus, why do I have to go? Or Jesus, I'm doing this over here. Um, give me a moment. Let me let me finish what I'm doing and then I'm going to follow. It was it was no back talk. See, a lot of times we like to bargain and negotiate with God. And, we, and we're not in that time. We don't get to bargain with God when God calls us. We either answer the call or we don't. And I, I advise you to answer the call because God has something greater for you. He has something far greater. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears has not have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the plans that God has for you, for you. And this comes from when you're obedient. So answer the call. Answer the call. If you're watching this, oh my God, answer the calls. You've been trying to go back and forth with God and, and telling God, just give me some more time. God said the time is now. You was looking for a confirmation. This is your confirmation. God says the time is now. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop the sin. God doesn't expect you to be perfect, but God says, I want you to repent, daughter. I want you to repent, son. And I want you to try. I want you to make a conscious effort to live for me. Now, in 22, it says they immediately, verse 22, they immediately left the ships and their father and followed him. Notice it said immediately. Immediately. Does immediately mean suddenly. They didn't have time to say, okay, God, wait, give me a second, Jesus. Jesus, I need, I need time to do this. Jesus, I need to, I need to put the, the net back in the boat. Jesus, I need to call, call, call on my brothers. Or I need to go call my mother. I need to go make a phone call and I'm not ready yet. Let me go pack my bags. Oh, woo, Jesus. They follow immediately. 
urgency. We got to have a sense of urgency in this time that we don't have time to go back and forth. We got to go right now. When God calls you, you got to answer the call and go right now because he's going to raise up somebody else to do what you should have been doing because you didn't answer the call, because you didn't go immediately, because your plans were more important. This is for somebody, Jesus. My God. Y'all, it's an urgency right now. It's an urgency right now. I can't stress it enough. It's an urgency in my spirit. I've been feeling like this. I've never felt this urgency in my spirit ever before. Because the we're not going to have to wait till 2023 to see what God is about to do. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all what God has spoke to me. I'm telling you what God has showed me in the spirit. It's going to be an acceleration in the body of Christ, in the kingdom of what God is doing. And it's going to affect the rest of the world. It really is. Y'all, I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Y'all take this back to God. Test the spirit. Y'all be blessed. Love y'all.